Uh, and Norway is known to have a lot of natural resources, fish, oil, forestry, hydropower plants. Ice was also a big income for many people for uh, 100 and 150 years ago. We are very happy to be in the Norwegian nature. Yeah, the wilderness is something who attracts a lot of us. My name is Thomas Uldru, and my company is Design Ice Norway. We are located in the southern east of Norway, in Trøgstad commune in Østfold district. What I do for a living is working with ice and snow. It's uh, making ice hotels, ice sculptors, sculptors for commercial stuff. It can be customized ice cubes, glasses made out of ice to drink beer. Actually, we made a Tesla out of ice one time. We have made one big dump truck one time. Yeah, we can also just provide just our standard roadblock cut it off from the lake nearby. Our company uses nearly 100% natural ice. That would say it's ice we harvest on the lake. Uh, the difference between that and artificial made ice is that over ice it's, you can really see it's natural. You can see there is some bubbles, some special cracks and shadows. It's, it's full of life. As the climate change keeps going, it's harder and harder for us to find our raw material. It's more and more often that it happens that it's not, nearly not possible to harvest any ice. So if it's minus 20 all day around, it's perfect. We have many, many different projects. Uh, a few of them is, for example, we made a ice ball together with the artist as was sent down to Antarctica. Yeah, if you have seen the movie Snowman, all the snowmen will come, was made of us. Some ice sculpture in it was made of us. Here on the table, we have just been adjusting some blocks as going to be build, used to build up a permanent ice bar at uh, Palma City in, at Mallorca. This is one block from March this year, model 2018. Here is, here is the oldest ice. Actually, this is uh, small samples from a glacier, so it can be up to 1,000 years old, the ice you can see inside here. So. This is maybe 1,000 years old. <laughs> this is from 2009. Behind here you have some from 2011. 2011 was the best harvest condition we had from our beginning for 15 years ago. If you're going to have a winter party, then you can have this as a dishes for dessert. Or you can use it just as an ashtray. And in the summertime, when you want an ice cold beer, then you can drink it from this one. If you look at the blocks, you can see uh, this very white on the top, that's kind of waste. Uh, it's snow and ice and water freezing from the top. Here is the ice when it started to freeze in the lake. And then it was freezing okay speed. And then it, here, this was a period with uh, about zero degrees, maybe some plus. And from here, last winter, it was this uh, Siberian cold. Then it started here. And it was extremely cold from here to here. This part of Norway, it's mainly open agriculture landscape or forests. I think uh, a lot of farmers who are interested in doing things with their own hands, they will have benefits by using this Woodmeister sawmill. It's not expensive, it doesn't take a lot of space, it's easy to run. Woodmeister fit in very well with all other kind of equipment we have. It's made the comp company complete with equipment 